Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. In this video, I am talking about the general principle of the shaper machines and the, how the shaper machine is used into the workshop for converting our raw materials into the different kind of required shape and size. So let us start in the shaper machines a single point cutting tool that will be reciprocates onto the surface of the workpiece. So generally the workpiece is being rigidly fixed into the vice of the shaper machines directly and the tool is held into the ram of the particular of the shaper machines. So just you can see over here the single point cutting tool. So here that will be a single point cutting tool or you can say SPCT that will be mounted onto the ram and the ram is being reciprocating so in case of the shaper machines our rotary motions that will be converting into the reciprocating motion of the ram and that ram is connected with the single point cutting tool. So the ram is moving into the forward stroke or you can say in this direction it will be called as a forward stroke and if the ram is moving into this direction that will be the reverse stroke. So when the ram is moving into the forward stroke the cutting of the material is being take place. So generally the 100% material removal rate only with the forward stroke into the shaper machines. So when the ram is moved to the backward there will be the no any kind of material is being cut. So that will be called as a ideal stroke. So there is no material removal take place during the return stroke or you can say ideal stroke. The cutting time during the return stroke is less as compared to the forward stroke. So that will be making a quick return kind of mechanism for reducing the manufacturing of the time. So generally the depth of cut that will be adjusted by the help of the downward of the tool. So that will be the depth of cut providing according to the my table size and the workpiece. And you can see that some of the construction of the shaper machines over here. So starting with the base, so generally base that will be support all the assembly of the machines and it can take up the entire load of the machines and forces set up by the cutting tool over the workpiece. So generally it may be made of the cast iron and it may be rigid bolted to the floor. So that will be also resisting the vibrations during the cutting of the materials. Then second important part and that will be the column or you can say body. So generally it is rib box like a casting and the top of the column carry the ram. So which will be slides onto the shaper machine or you can say body. So the front from the column is machine and hold the table which is supported from the base. So that will be the supporting onto the base and the column contains the crank as well as the slotted mechanisms. So generally that mechanisms it will be used to converting our rotary motions into the reciprocating motion of the ram. So that all the mechanisms it will be containing into the two plates of the casted into the body. Now next important part and that will be the cross rail. So cross rail just you can see over here. So in case of the cross rails that will be the cast iron components and generally that will be attached its front onto the vertical guideways and it carries the two mechanisms one from the elevating the table according to the my height and shape and size of the products as well as second one the cross travels of the table 
the cross rails helps to accommodate different size of the jobs so you can easily adjusting the job with respect to your tip of the tool so in simple way that will be providing easily positioning of the cutting tool and the surface of the work pieces now table so generally table is a box kind of cast iron materials and generally used to hold the work piece with the application of any work holding devices so generally it will be bolted to the saddle to receive the crosswise as well as the vertical movement from the saddles so you can easily adjust the height of the table with your work piece to the positioning with the cutting tool of the shaper machine and the important part and that will be the ram so ram that will be connected with the mechanisms that will be used to convert our rotary motions into the reciprocating motions so ram is being reciprocates onto the guideways to provide the top of the columns and it carries the tool head so that will be the tool head so that tool head it will be connected with the single point cutting tools so as we already discussed into the principles this ram is will be reciprocating and one of the end that will be connected with the single point cutting tool so in case of the forward stroke our 100% material removal take place and our return stroke that will be the ideal so make it it will be required as a quick return mechanisms so basically all the cutting force and that will be providing with the help of ram as well as ram is used for holding the tool so that tool it will be used for making a slots into the workpiece material now last one and that will be the tool head so the tool head is attached to the front portion of the ram and it holds the tool rigidly so it also provides the vertical as well as the angular movement so that will be vertical movements and this mechanism it will be having a angular movements so you can easily making a angular slot with the help of shaper machines so that all about the construction and working principle of the shaper machines so the basic applications of the shaper machines that will be used to making a slots or can say flat surfaces onto the workpiece materials at an any angle or you can make at a right angles so that will be regarding to the shaper machines if you like this then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much